It's often said that the problem with playing back an eccentric record is that it's a problem of pitch. And it's most notable, say, when you've got a sustained piano note. And as the record spins, you hear a warbling in the sound. Right? So, and this is true, you get variable pitch during um, eccentric record playback. But there's another component of eccentricity that I think is actually more audible, but we're unaware of it until we fix it. A record that is spinning at 33 and a third and exhibits eccentricity, we'll see the tone arm varying its position throughout play. You'll see it's waving left, waving right, waving left, waving right. Now every time the tone arm has to be made to switch its direction of horizontal play, a force is placed upon the damper. And we've talked about the, this damper before. It is the most underappreciated part of the cartridge. That damper is subject to a 6 to 1 or 7 to 1 lever arm, depending on the length of the cantilever. So for every one unit of errant horizontal force at the stylus, you've got to multiply it by 6 or 7 on one side of the damper and minus 6 or 7 on the other side of the damper. So as this arm is playing this eccentric record, and is forced to shift the entire inertial mass of the arm twice per revolution, it is passing that force to that damper as an asymmetrical force. There is a sonic impact to this. And in fact, I had an interesting discussion with the uh, designer of the very interesting uh, DS Audio Eccentricity Stabilizer. And um, I, I had said to him, hey, you know, the sonic improvement that you get from using a Wally skater to manage your horizontal forces in your tone arm, that is you know, anti-skating or too much anti-skating and static friction, um, the sonic benefit you get from managing those horizontal forces is identical to the sonic benefit I get from using his eccentricity playback stabilizer and eliminating eccentricity at the time of record playback. And it's experienced as an overall relaxation of the sound. It just sounds more real and less like you're listening to a stereo. The sound stage just kind of opens up a little bit and the music breathes better. So I said to the fella that I think the real benefit of eliminating eccentricity is to benefit the damper, to make sure it remains symmetrically compressed across the record surface, not have to shift that compression twice per revolution. To which he agreed. That's the primary sonic benefit of eliminating eccentricity. And until you hear the benefit, you don't really notice it. Um, you don't notice that it exists. It's one of those audiophile things where you don't know what you're missing until you have it. There it is, another soundbite video for the week. See you next week.